Affair at work. My wife, 26, and I, 26, have been married for three years. We've been together for four years. After our first child was born we had a major fight which resulted in us growing apart. We never had sex and only ever kissed each other when going to work for a little over a year. We never spent time in the same rooms unless going to bed. We both felt like roommates to each other. She had a two-week affair with her co-worker in which she lived out a sexual fantasy we both had. Together with her co-worker at work. The next week she asked me for a divorce and moved in with him. She proceeded to tell me while living with him that she regretted everything and wished she worked on us instead of running. She explained that she didn't feel loved by me and someone else gave her that and that's how it occurred. I went to the divorce attorney and I just couldn't pull the trigger on it so I met up with her and we talked everything out. I do love her and I do genuinely believe it will be a one-time thing. I've put her phone through forensic software and read every message between the two of them for the two weeks it's existed. I can't however get over the fact that she lived out a fantasy of ours with someone else. I feel emasculated. I can't stay erect during intercourse anymore. I also can't stop thinking about it and getting disgusted and confused when I think about the fantasy. What are the best tools to get over this? to stop thinking about it what was the fight about that caused you guys to grow apart initially you both have up on the marriage for an entire year unless you figure out how that happened you have nothing to rebuild upon you can't just move on from this as much as you both must want to make this work this will take time lots of time she not only cheated but yeah, she took something you understood to be a secret desire. And she shared it with someone she works with. Does she still see this person every day? What you two need is counseling. Both couples counseling and individual. And it's okay to not feel 100% intimate right now. Maybe for now you two sleep in separate rooms while you take an inventory of the situation. If I were you and I were dead set on making this relation stronger. I'd take her aside, tell her that if she's committed to this marriage then you are too. And that you too will be okay again. But it will take time. And honestly take it day at a time. Booking a romantic getaway as soon as possible won't patch this up. It's going to take taking and reflection. And being vulnerable with each other. It's not just the cheating, affair. You didn't touch each other for a year. And basically loved like roommates. You have deeper issues here than the two-week affair. Heavy doses of counseling. Or divorce. That's it. You're 26 get a divorce and move on. What are the best tools to get over this? A divorce. Divorce BEO probably divorce the major problem with trying to make your marriage work is that instead of coming to you and trying to make your relationship work your wife went to another man at her job and sought the intimacy she needed from him then she blamed you for her behavior this is not how a spouse who loves and respects you and your relationship with her behaves this are the actions of a selfish person if your marriage is going to have a chance of working, she needs to be genuinely remorseful and take responsibility for her actions and not blame you. Yes, you weren't a perfect husband but you didn't sleep with another woman. Nothing you did justifies her cheating on you. She needs to do the lion's share of the work to get you to trust her. At this point, anything she does that reminds you of her behavior during those two weeks is going to trigger you and the pain. She has to understand that and do everything and everything you need to get you through the episode. She needs to answer all of your questions honestly. No matter how many times you ask the questions, you need to get over the feeling of emasculation and find a way to forgive her and trust her again. 
The tagline on our, Surviving Infidel T says something to the effect that trusting your wayward spouse again is the hard part, and your marriage will never be the same again. Your trust in her has been destroyed. You can't just get over it and go back to how things were before. It doesn't work that way. I wish you luck but know that most relationships where a partner has been unfaithful don't recover. She had an affair with a co-worker then moved in with him and only wanted you back because she realized the grass wasn't as green as she thought. Yet. You genuinely believe it'll be a one-time thing. Yep. She'll forever take advantage of your gullibleness. Please find the strength to leave. Personally, I would be worried that if she ever feels unloved again, will she just go off again and have another affair? Relationships have their ups and downs. But cheating is not how you handle it. There's broken trust there. And while I agree with everyone saying divorce is the best option, if you really want to dig your heels in the sand and continue anyway then couples counseling is probably the best way to put everything on the table and see if you can both realistically move past this. You didn't mention formal counseling. I would not go any further with a reconciliation without it. You just can't go back to the old patterns without finding out what went wrong and deciding how to change it together. This will also help you know if this ISNT a short-term, temporary period of remorse from her. As to the fantasy, it is disappointing. However, create a new one together for your new relationship. You think the affair is your biggest issue? Seriously? How about you start with the fight that was so horrible that you could make up for it for a year? Am I the only one alarmed by the fact that there was a major fight and no try to have a resolution? From an outside perspective seems like you both need to grow up. Info. What was the fight about that drove you apart in the first place? She found out the grass isn't greener on the other side. Let her sit in that. All the good answers here, divorce. Time and perspective. Therapy. Couples counseling, they're all valid. Just remember not to attach yourself to the idea of, emasculating. That's not a thing if you don't hinge your masculinity on some weird macho fantasy. You can be hurt. Feel betrayed. Sure. But feeling, less like a man, hints at an unhealthy sense of ego enmeshed with maleness. Simply answer. Divorce. Divorce the rat. What did the fantasy involve? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.